Today's featured plant is a small shrub known as Rosa gymnocarpa or the bald hip rose. There are some distinctive features we can look at when identifying this shrub. So first off, this plant occurs at low to mid elevations in open forests and clearings. So you often find it in locations like this one where we, where we are right now along a roadside. If we look closer at the plant, there's several features we can examine. First off, we can look at the leaflets. So you notice that the leaves are compound. They're made up of five to nine leaflets. The leaflets themselves are quite small compared to some other roses and are coarse toothed. If we take a closer look at the stems, you'll notice that they're covered in very small prickles. The prickles are mostly the same length. The stem itself also has a whitish coating on it that you can scrape off with your finger. So let's have a closer look at the flowers. You'll notice that they're single along the stem, so only one flower coming out per cluster. The flowers are also very small compared to our other native roses. They're only about one to two centimeters in length. They're pink in color, and when the flowers are pollinated, the petals and sepals drop off. Later in the season, the rose hips will develop and they'll be a nice orangey red color. They'll be lacking the typical sepals that you'll see on most rose hips, which is why this rose has the name bald hip rose. One final thing we can look at is the growth habit. So the, the rose, bald hip rose does not get very tall. It's only about a meter in height and it's quite scraggly. It's not an impressive rose compared to a lot of the other rose bushes we can see. So those are some of the key features when looking at the bald hip rose, Rosa gymnocarpa. So thanks for your time today, Rose, and we'll see you next time for one of our other plant videos. Thanks for watching.